Today's New Testament reading is the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 10th chapter. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher, and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And the one who receives a righteous person because he is a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. This is the word of the Lord. For today's meditation on God's word, we welcome the Rev. Matthew Wheatfelt. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everything that happens to Jesus likewise happens to you. From birth until death, from womb until tomb, everything that happened to Jesus happens to you. Jesus the Christ was born of a mother, so were you. Likewise he grew in wisdom and in stature, and in fear and love of God. Through Christian growth and instruction, you too were grown in the faith, both to fear, love, and trust in God above all things. Jesus continued to grow and to live the life, a life given in service to God and in service to neighbor. So you too live your life in service to God and in love for God and neighbor, also to serve the neighbor. In our reading for today, we see Jesus confronting something that is rather peculiar. We see Jesus saying to us, not to fear, but to take heart in him. Jesus then also says to us, Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the world. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. In this world, oftentimes people see Jesus as simply just a peacemaker, one who is willing to give up any and everything just to have some peace for the sake of love, for the sake of not hurting someone's feelings. 
Instead, Jesus says to us, I have come not to bring peace, but the sword. And what exactly is that sword that Jesus brings? The sword isn't a sword of vengeance and wrath. No, that sword is more like the surgeon's scalpel, dissecting precisely to the heart of the matter. Christ using his own word, as Christ is the very word of God, from the beginning of creation, even until this day. Christ, who is the word of God, dissecting specifically now our human condition, dividing it between law and gospel, between what we deserve according to what we have earned and also according to what the Lord gives to us as his children. His mercy, that is, withholding the things that we deserve, and his grace, instead giving us the things that we do not deserve, life and eternal joys in heaven. Christ comes to bring this, his sword, his surgeon's scalpel, to our human condition, to show us exactly who we are in sin, but to show us even more so who he is as he gives to us life and salvation through his death on the cross. His death, that he dies for you, so that when you too die, the same thing happening to you, you do not die the big death, that is, a death to eternity. Instead, your death is merely just a sleep. And so that when he calls to you after you have died on the last day, he calls you into your eternal reward to sit with him as he is ascended into heaven, so you too ascend likewise. And now sit with him in that time, with him at the right hand, the place of honor and glory, not of your own merit, but for what Christ has done with you, for you, and with you, and to you. Thanks be to God, through Christ Jesus our Lord, that he continues to give us all things, so that whatever happened to Christ likewise also happens to us and that he continues to give us life, just as he has won life, received life himself, and won it for you. To him be all the glory forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.